Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. The Bible in Psalm 91 verse 11 says that God will give his angels to protect you wherever you go. Let's pray. Thank you so much for the protection of angels. Lord, I ask that you send these angels to surround your people in the name of Jesus. Preserve them from any harm. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, Paul was writing a letter to the church in Galatia, and then he put a warning, and that warning is in Galatians chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. He says, Let God's curse fall on anyone, including us, or even an angel from heaven, who preaches a different kind of good news than the one we preach to you. I say again what I've already said before. If anyone preaches any other good news than the one you welcome, let the person be accursed. What is it that a man could have done that will make Paul say that a person is under a curse well the answer is simple from that scripture it means that there are two types of gospel there is the real gospel of our lord jesus christ which preaches righteousness and all the things that are contained in the real gospel but then the bible talks about another gospel and the other gospel simply means when you take the full gospel and you remove some critical elements of the full gospel what you now have is poison and it's going on a lot these days there are so many hidden scriptures that are in the bible that are no more talked about and the moment you remove these very very important verses of the bible from the gospel the gospel loses its power and paul called it another gospel so let's take a look at some of the verses of the bible that are no more talked about and therefore people are being deceived and they are living the kind of life that they want Matthew 7, 13 to 14 is a great place to start. It says you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad and his gate is wide for the many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it. So from this scripture, it is clear to us that there are two roads. There is the broad path where everybody is on. They live the way they want. They say what they want to say. They go where they want to go. It is a life of compromise. Though they are in church, though they sing in the choir, though they are ushers, though they give so much money in the church, they are still on the broad path because they've not let go of these sins and they've not let go of the weight and all the different things that they do that hinders God from flowing in their lives. But then the Bible talks about the narrow path. The people that are on the narrow path, the Bible says they are very, very few. It says only a few find it. These are men who are ready to let go and continue for God to keep working on them until they reach perfection. Now, when last did you hear the message of the narrow path and the broad path? Of course, there are people who are still talking about it, but they are in the minority. But the truth is, when you remove this important verse of the Bible and you don't talk about it anymore, you now have a generation that knows not the Lord. So the Bible is telling us that this verse is very, very essential. Know that the fact that everybody is doing one thing does not make it right. The Bible says these people, there are many, but they are on the road to destruction. He said, you see the small path, the narrow path? He said, that is where the men who are going to make heaven, that is the path they are on. What it means is that anything that does not glorify God in your body, in your life, in your spirit, your soul, you need to get rid of them. You need to repent about them. And then you need to tell God to help you to make the journey of righteousness so that you go to heaven. Imagine that if there are 100 people, few just means about four or less. That means that the number of people that are going to go to heaven, according to the scripture, is very few. Which means you need to walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. That is what Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 says. You can't live anyhow and expect to go to heaven. That's why God has released his grace upon you so that through the grace of God you are able to live the life of righteousness and holiness. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Stand. For, holiness. for other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred.